So, uh, we got some big news uh, today. We got some very big news. Well, I wouldn't say big news because this is leaked, and keep in mind that, you know, every time you see something quote-unquote leaked on the internet, you need to keep it with a... Gr you need to take it all with a grain of salt, really. Um... But, you know, we've had some leaks before with the MK with MK11, and they've all turned, like, 99% of them have turned out to be true. Like, 99% have turned out to be those leaks have been true. But again, I have to stress that, you know, take this all with a grain of salt. Take all of this with a uh, grain of salt uh, when you're watching this, um, when, you know, when you're hearing this list. I know I have to. So... The MK11 DLC list has been quote-unquote leaked online, and it is a total of eight characters, one of which we already knew of, uh, Shang Tsung, but it will be a total of four MK characters and four guest characters. Now, to keep you all in suspense, I am going to talk about the MK characters, because I'm nasty like that. So, let's talk about the MK characters. Of course, we knew Shang Tsung, voiced by Kerry Degawa, which is going to be really cool. It's also cool to have the crypt back. Um, but the other four, three characters were really fun, especially one I've been waiting for since fucking MK9. No, really, I've waited for this dude to show up since fucking MK9. So I'm so ecstatic if this turned out to be, if this list turns out to be true, then I'm going to be through the roof that this MK character's back. So we have Sindel coming back, finally. I think that was a character we've wanted, you know, it was kind of bad that we, sh we missed out on her. Um, we got to see her in MKX, but we didn't get to play as her. So it's cool we're getting her, at least in DLC form. Uh, whether she'll be a Revenant or from, you know, her younger self in the in the timeline, I don't know. The same goes for the next character, Nightwolf, another MK9 return. Again, we don't know if he is a he in this DLC is going to be a Revenant or from the timeline. I'm cool with uh, I'm cool with Nightwolf coming back. I'm really happy that he's been come that he's going to come back because I know a lot of fans were excited, you know, really dug Nightwolf. I know he, he's not, he's like a, a split character in the fandom, but I do know Nightwolf has his fans. I do know that he does have his fans out there, so it's good to see that. And finally, we have the character, uh, the, if this list is true, then we have the character I have been waiting for since fucking ever, and that is Fujin, the god of wind himself. You all don't even know I love Fujin. I think he's one of the cool, I, I really dig Fujin as a character, so to have Fujin Finally, in the in the new MK timeline, frickin' finally, it, at least it's in DLC. I'll take it, you know, even if it is DLC, I will take it. I will take that um, over nothing, really. So, to have Fujin in here, if this list is real, then, you know, I'm all kinds of ecstatic. I'm really all kinds of ecstatic if... Fujin is in here, and I can only imagine what kind of fatalities you could do with the wind. Um, the fatalities have recently really upped their ante, because some of them I was like, eh, that was fine, that was cool, but the fatalities they've been showing now, especially Devorah's fatality, oh, they've been stepping up their game. Devorah's fatality, by the way, nearly made me throw up in my mouth. Like, I was like, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> That's it. Like, no fatality has ever made me do that in the history of Mortal Kombat, but Devorah's fatality in this game made me go, mm, oh god. And if you haven't seen it yet, I'll say this much. It's very reminiscent of John Carpenter's The Thing, so I gotta, you know, tip my hat off to that. So, let's get to the part where you guys were waiting for. Let's talk about the list you guys were waiting for. And this is the, this is the part, the guest character list, that makes me go, hmm. Because, again, not, you know, this is a leaked list. This is a quote-unquote leaked list that, you know, that's put on the internet. So take it all with a grain of salt. And some of these characters, while they, they all, in a weird way, make sense, some of them just feel like... I don't know, my spidey sense is tingling on some of them, especially one of those characters. So let's start off with the first character on here, and that is apparently the Joker. Of course, DC Comics Joker, and this is the one that made me go, something wrong here, but if it, you know, keep in mind, it may or may not happen, but let's, yeah, Joker. That was the one that made me go, really? Joker in here? Now, Joker's, of course, been in Mortal Kombat before with MK versus DC, but remember, in that game, 
Warner Brothers forbid uh, NetherRealm Studios from them from killing their characters. And while yes, they did have fatalities for the DC char for the DC villains as well as the MK characters, it wasn't really like the best MK you know fatalities in there. They weren't really cool with them getting sliced and diced. And yeah, they weren't cool with that. And even in MKX, Ed Boon said that there weren't going to be any comic book characters in that game. And I thought that that would, that would carry over into this game. So, yeah, that's why I've always been kind of like, yeah, who knows if they're going to be, you know, the MK, you know, DC characters are ever going to be in an MK game. But on the other hand, it makes sense. Like, in a weird way, I can see Joker in here. Honestly, though, wouldn't it be crazy that instead of Joker, it turns out to be like Batman who laughs? Because that's a, a DC character. If you want to go with a Joker-esque character, you could go with and have a lot of fun with. It would be the Batman who laughs. Um, but getting back to Joker, in a weird way, I can see Joker working. You know, he's got all these different weapons. He's got the Joker spray, which I imagine his... I really hope if this is real, his fatality is him spraying the laughing gas and you just laugh yourself to death with a horrible smile, or he sprays his, um, you know, his, uh, acid flower at your face and it just, you just peel your face off as you're getting, trying to get the acid off, or some shit like that. So, that'd be neat, you know, I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, the other, ma you know, the other thing is that he's got knives, guns, all kinds of stuff, and it also, and also a gear system works. Like, you could give him in all these different costumes and all, and what have you, even, like, his makeup could be different. Um, all kinds of stuff. And the other thing that made me go, hmm, it, this could have some leading, uh, this, uh, some weight to it, because of what else? The Joker movie coming out this year. And who's doing that? Warner Brothers! That is right. But again, it, you know, it just sounds like it sounds, you know, having Joker in, in this list makes me go, but wait a minute, this kind of flies in the face of what Ed Boon said in MKX. So, who knows? Again, that one kind of made me go, red flag, but who knows, really. Anywho, moving on to our next character, and that is Spawn. Was anyone surprised? We've been begging, you know, the fans have been begging for Spawn since MKX and Injustice. So, yeah, Spawn, that's another one I think a lot of fans have wanted. I don't know why. Spawn, I'm fine, you know, Spawn's a cool character and all, but I've never been, like, the biggest Spawn guy. Um, but whatever. If I know the fans have been, you know, whining, you know, not so much whining, but more like demanding Spawn since MKX and Injustice 2. I, at this point, I was just like, I don't want him just, you know... I know, you know, I get it, you know, he's a horror character and a comic book character, he fits in line with both, but at the same time I'm like, I just, you know, I've never been the biggest Spawn guy, so I'm just, but on the other hand, you know, he was in Soul Calibur 2, he was, uh, he is a character you could do a gear system with, and he does fit into the whole, you know, brutal stuff you could do with in Mortal Kombat. So Spawn, eh, I'm fine with it. To all the major Spawn fans out there, I have nothing against you. I'm just not a big Spawn guy, and I'm ha and I'm at least happy for you that you got Spawn in the Mortal Kombat games. Again, assuming this is real. I will also say that if we get Spawn, the next game better have Violator. I'm just saying, if you can put Spawn in here, give us Violator in the next in MK13. Yeah, give us Violator or the Redeemer or Angela. Well, you can't do really do Angela, because now she's over at Marvel. But, um... Yeah. Redeemer would be cool. Redeemer would be pretty fucking cool. Or Violator. Just saying. Anyway, moving on to our next character, and this is another one that made me go, hmm, this feel sounds too good to be true, and that is the Terminator. Now, keep in mind they didn't spe this list didn't specify the Terminator if he was going to have if it was just going to be a regular T-800 model with just the skeleton, or it's Arnold. Now, the, the main thing is that Arnold's likeness is... Using Arnold's likeness would probably be so goddamn expensive. It would be way too expensive to use. So that's, you know, it's kind of a red flag. But they didn't specify which Terminator. They could easily go the the, T, the normal T-800 route. They could easily do that and not have, not have to go through legal stuff with Arnold. Or it could be... And this is what another one that I don't think a lot of people talked about. It could be they didn't specify what model Terminator it was. They could have they could easily have it be the T one thousand. 
which I'm cool with. I'm really fine if they... It, I honestly would prefer the T1... I'm not saying anything bad against T800 or Arnold in general. I'm just saying, like, it would be easier and a little more fun to use the T1000. You know, it would be easier to get Robert Pat Patrick's like likeness. Plus, so many variations you could do with the T1000, like using the blades and going to a hook form, stretching out your arm, or shape-shifting. There's so many variations you could do with the T1000. So, it, it, like I said, they didn't specify in this list of what model Terminator. I'm pretty sure it's going to be, like, not Arnold, just regular T-1000. I mean, you already had Alien and Predator. Might as well conf uh, do the Fox sci-fi trifecta. But again, I don't know how... Again, this list kind of puts a red flag because now that Disney owns Fox... I don't know, like, if they allowed that or not, you know, allowed them to be buddy-buddy with Warner Brothers long enough, to, or this buyout, could, you know, this could, this deal could have happened before the buyout was official, and Disney was like, eh, we can't pull it now, so who knows? Again, you gotta take this all with a grain of salt. And finally, we come to our, the character I was like, now this is one I could probably see happening despite everything, and that is Ashley J. Williams, the king himself from Evil Dead and Army of Darkness. This is one, at first I was like, I don't know if this could happen because of the likeness thing, but then, you know, it gives me some hope because, again, he is, in the same year as this game's being released, he, uh, um, Ash, voiced by Bruce Campbell, is going to appear in the game Dead by Daylight. So I think that's really cool, and it gives a lot of credence that maybe, and he is playing Ash, the likeness is there, so maybe they're doing the same thing with Bruce Campbell here, and Bruce Campbell, while it is kind of expensive, he's a lot cheaper than, than Schwarzenegger, I'm just saying. But, yeah, it does give me credence. It is a cool horror character. Um, Ash also can really work well with the gear system. Uh, I can only imagine what kind of chainsaws or boomsticks you'd give him. Um, maybe you switch it out with the metal hand. And also, his, end, his fatality better be called Swallow This, where he just sticks the, bear, the shotgun in your mouth and just pulls the trigger. Just call it Swallow This. Evil Dead fans will get it. Um, also, the ending of his better be, like, the ending pose for his ending better be him in the Army of Darkness pose for the poster with Jade or Katana or some other female character at his feet um, with, you know, Deadite Revenants coming out of the ground or some shit like that. So, yes, while I am disappointed that the two characters, the two um, guest characters, I wanted Pennywise and Michael... Uh, are not on this list, but you have to under. But again, you really have to take this all with a grain of salt. The this list is not confirmed. You know, I don't think it will be confirmed for a while. But you know, on one hand, while it isn't, you know, this list this list may all be bullshit. And like I said, the Terminator and Joker thing really made me go. This feels a little bullshit. This just feels just a tad bit bullshit. This really does feel like a tad bit bullshit. Um. But on the other hand, they're all characters that can work with the gear system. You can work around a lot of the likeness stuff. Um, they're all characters um, that are, you know, they all kind of work. You can all see them in MKX, I mean, excuse me, MK in the MK universe. And they're characters that you could easily, you know, work with it, um, in here. And, you know, they're all characters with gear systems. So, yeah. But the, on the other hand, there are just some, some discrepancies, especially Joker and Terminator. But you, at the same time, you can work around them. But So again, I really have to stress, guys, that you really have to keep an open mind about this list, that it could be bullshit, it could really be bullshit, but at the same time, like, I could see it. Um, anyway, so you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what, do you, what did you guys think of this uh, quote-unquote leaked DLC list? Uh, are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Um, what were you guys disappointed to see? If this list is real, were you guys disappointed not to see like Penny, Pennywise or Michael in here or some other horror characters? And if this is real, are you guys excited for Terminator, Joker, Spawn, and Ash and the MK characters? I really want to know the M if you guys like the MK list as well. And what are some characters you would have put on this list too? Just comment below, let us know. And once again, I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.